If the Toyota Sienna screams family practicality and the Lexus sports sedan is too entitled, then here's the answer to the question nobody asked. How do you combine the two? The 2008 Toyota Velfire. Velvety smooth and fiery passion. That's according to Toyota. Named for their intention to offer the smoothness of velvet and the passion of burning fire. Velvet. Fire. Corporate lingo be damned, it helps that it rhymes with hellfire. In the landscape of 2000's mundane minivans, it does express itself with pointed anime-style headlights on near outlandish plum purple paint. If interior space is the epitome of luxury, then it would stand to reason that a max size box on wheels is max opulence. Asia has known this recipe for decades, with Toyota's Alphard luxury minivan launched in 2002. North America's obsessive compulsion with gargantuan SUVs fuel the marketplace, but I'm willing to bet that the right-sized vans are making a comeback with the surge of van life and the electric VW minibus incoming. And how cool is the North American absent but globally released Hyundai Staria? The Velfire's lineage can be traced back to the Alphard launch at the turn of the century. Intended to sit atop Toyota's MPV lineup, the Alphard offered luxurious digs to distinguish itself from the everyday but still sci-fi cool Toyota Estima or JDM Previa. The same underpinnings but a larger body pegged the Alphard. Think Toyota Camry to Toyota Avalon, but minivan. In 2008, Toyota birthed the Velfire. Power! Innovation accentuates this Alphard twin, according to Toyota. Buzzwords appealing to a youth-oriented crowd. You can't be cool just by spouting a bunch of worn-out buzzwords. It was offered through the Toyota Nets dealership network. The same guys that brought you Toyota Voxy. It's what the now defunct Scion brand was in North America. Though with sport luxury intentions, it would make the case as a modern day luxury F Sport minivan. Today, you could purchase the Alfred based Lexus LM with a chrome face that would make a Rolls Royce whimper. It's a bit too Megatron over the top for me. JDM connoisseurs of culture like yourself already know that your Lexus F Sport minivan of your dreams can be had thanks to Canada's 15 year import rule. True, the Alphard has six years more availability, but come on, if we're gonna go through the trouble of importing something special, we might as well spring for the rare version. Though not by much, as the Alphard moved just 14,000 more units, and by 2009, the Velfire caught on and outsold the Alphards. I suspect the Alphard's use as a chauffeur's workhorse throughout Asia doesn't help its image. Sort of like the Lincoln Town Car of Asia. Built on Toyota's MC platform with the same underpinnings as the JDM Dad Cool Voxy and the best-selling Toyota Corolla, parts diving will be accessible. It can be had in both front-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and a choice of 2.4 liter inline four or three and a half liter V6. Both engines are bread and butter Toyota parts. Familiar fare on Corollas, Camrys, RAV4s, and Highlanders, among others. Here are some Velfire indulgences. Seven speed CVT for the four cylinder, or six speed for the V6. In contrast to North America's Sienna with the five speed auto, or full captain seats with ottoman option. Business class style seating with business class style LED ambient lights. Double moonroof or full forward facing cameras from 2008. Okay, let's have a look at Japanese auctions. Okay, so at auction, I've sorted out by model year 2008 Toyota Velfire for the sold prices for the year 2023 up until August. And you can see um, the prices sold here on the right. They've gone for roughly 5,000 US dollars down to 4,000. So this is what we're looking at and over a thousand lots for sale. 
even when I drop the mileage down to under 100,000 kilometers for each unit, maintaining an overall grade of four, there are still over 300 units, averaging five and a half thousand US dollars. Let's have a look at uh, this unit here. We have a four and a half score. This is the 3.5 liter V6. This sold for roughly 7,000 US dollars. This is the rear with clear tails, pearl white. Uh, you've got A1 scratches, a U1 dents, some chip on the glass, but nothing too bad out here. By the way, you too can decipher auction sheets quickly. Get your Japan auction cheat sheet at importjdmauto.com. Let's look at this one here. This is the one I want, the purple, plum purple paint. Got the V6 again. This is a three and a half liter 3.5 Z model with the Toyota Nets logo in the front. OEM wheels, this one sold for roughly 7,000 US dollars. Small paint scratch, something on the glass here. We have an A1 scratch in the front um, and a U1 dent on the left side. The notes describe a dirty interior and possibly a well cab model, which I believe is a mobility aid chair that can help people enter the vehicle. Ooh, here's another purple model, uh, R-Score. It's got the, I believe this is the Alford Red Tails and the rear exhaust, quad exhaust, V6, you got wheels. Usually when it's an R model, it could either mean uh, repaired or modified. You've got a front bumper kit, a grill kit, that's different from OEM with fogs. Oh, it looks like I got the sunroof. Let's see what the notes say. So according to these notes, like we said, the double X is a replaced panel. That's the rear. You got a small A1 scratch. The front is all modified, paint chips probably. And it's again, model rated R. Let's see what these notes say. There's a chip on the front glass and the highly modified in the rear. Wheel seam chip or bent. Easily the reason why someone would pay 2,800 US dollars for this vehicle. Let's look at the lower priced uh, auctions. This one sold for roughly 2,000, 3,000 US dollars. This one is the 2.4 liter model, but still the desirable purple color that I want so badly. And let's look at the sh auction sheet here. It's got a bunch of small A1 scratches, a wavy paint in the rear, defective right mirror, and a scratch on the entertainment panel. As you can see, the auctions are plentiful for Velfires, and we can expect to pay somewhere between between four to eight thousand Canadian dollars for a Velfire in Japan. Factor in shipping, duties, import costs, and my guesstimate's roughly ten to fifteen thousand Canadian dollars. It's no secret I want the Velfire in plum purple. I'm on the fence about three and a half liter V6 or two point four liter inline four. <laughs> But if I'm going to get the all-wheel drive, I guess I'll have to spring for the 3.5 liter V6. Dual moonroof and full business class seating. Yes, for the kids. Road trip! Of course, we'd have to turn to Asia for modifications like this beautiful one from Thailand with a roof box. Anything from mild to absolutely wild like this one here we see in Japan that just basically chopped off the entire roof. Oh yes, modifying vans are extremely niche, but Japan is the source for everything you're looking for. Is that from yeah, Fast and Furious? Yeah. VIP stanced on coilovers, airbags, or crazy setups like this, Bosozoku style. You've really got to check out this video. I'll link to it below in the comments. But I want to know what you guys think. Would you guys import an Alford? Maybe the Toyota Estima is better. Or how about the Honda Elysion? Or Nissan El Grand? Or better yet, Lexus North America should just sell Lexus LM. For me, you still can't beat Velfa. Bellfire, Bellfire.